What's going on, everybody? Welcome to opening day for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Today they will be taking on the Detroit Tigers at Comerica Park. So, no, it is not the Pirates' home opener. But this is opening day baseball here with the 2018 season. And first pitch underway, and it is a ball. Second pitch here. It is going to be fouled off. The 1-1 one, one pitch. And it is hit up the middle, and we got a base hit for the Pirates. So the first at-bat results in a base hit. Josh Harrison to the plate now. He had 16 dingers last year. Comes up with a guy on first, and he grounds it past third baseman. Third baseman not able to make a play there for Detroit. So now two on, none out for the Pirates here on opening day. And that one is hit into left field. That is going to be caught. The tag up will occur. And we are going to have runners on the corners for Josh Bell. The first baseman, number 55, Josh, Josh Bell with runners on the corners and one out here facing Michael Fulmer, the opening day starter for the Tigers. He's going to foul one back. So that is going to result in an 0-1 count. The 0-1 pitch. And that one is grounded up the middle. Second baseman can't make a play, and it's a base hit. Pirates will score one. Melky Cabrera, the DH, 17 home runs last year. He comes to the plate with two on, one out. And the pitch is a strike in there. So 0-1. And the 0-1 is hit into center field. And that play will be made. Again, another tag up. So it will be runners on the corners for Gregory Polanco, the right fielder. Bat at 251 with 11 home runs last season. Nice, beautiful yellow cleats. And the first pitch is going to be hit into right field, and that's a gapper. That goes right into the gap. This is going to be a bases clearing double for Gregory Polanco. The play at the plate, not in time. Josh Bell in there, and that's two more runs. So the Pirates on top, 3 nothing, with a base runner still on second base. And the first pitch swung on and missed. That's going to be strike number one. The 0-1 pitch, way inside. That'll be a ball. We got a 1-1 count here. And the pitch swung on and hit in the air. Left field, left center, and it's caught by the center fielder. Now pitcher Jamison Talion for the Pirates. His first pitch of the season is a ground ball that will be thrown to first base for the out. His second pitch of the season is in there for a strike. The 0-1 pitch here. And that's going to be hit into right center field for a base hit. So the Tigers get an opening day first inning base runner as well. That one hit towards the stands, and it is caught for an out. So two outs now. The one-two pitch for Talion on the next batter up is going to be caught. Look at that play. So we go into the second inning. One out there, and there is a play at first, and he is safe. So a guy on first base, and that is a nice hit up there. Center field base hit 
Two on, one out for the Pirates here in the second inning. And that is going to be grounded to second base. They will go, and everybody is safe. They can't make the play. And now here is a play. They will get the guy out at first base, but a run scores. It is 4-1. Guy on second and third with two out. And that one flared into left field. It will be caught by the left fielder. And the Pittsburgh Pirates up 4-1 through three innings. We go to eight now. Score still 4-1 in the bottom of the eighth. And boom, a shot off Jamison Talion. And he will come out of the game at that point. But we go top nine. It is to 4-2. And there is a bomb for a home run. So it's 5-2 to two now with two outs. 1-1 one, one pitch is hit deep center field, and it is caught. So the Pirates do get a dub on opening day. As you can see there, David Freeze, the man who hit the home run for Pittsburgh, the man who hit the home run for Detroit, Le Leonis Martin. So that is interesting. Take a quick look at the box score here if you want to see what is going on with these guys. Polanco with that double freeze with the home run. Two hours in. RBIs by Dickerson, Bell, Polanco, and Freeze. Jamison Talion goes 7.1. Not a bad outing for him. Now we will go ahead and manage the rest of the games in this series. There's a two-run shot by Josh Bell. Rupp walks. Frazier walks. They get out of the inning. Now Henderson Alvarez pitching this game. So far, he's got a 2-0 lead. There's a double by Dickerson. That's going to score a run. 3-0 lead for the Pirates in this one. And there's a homer by Melky Cabrera. Two-run shot scoring Frazier and himself. 5-0 lead for the Pirates. A double and a run scored right there. A two-run shot. Look at that. It's an 8-0 lead before you know it for the Pirates in the fourth inning. Melky Cabrera strikes out. Cervelli walks. There's a fielder's choice. There's a single. They get a strikeout. Single and a walk for the Pirates. A double play and a ground out to get out of the inning. Fantastic defense there. Then not much doing here as we're getting to the seventh. A couple walks, but he gets out of the inning. Norris now giving up a run in the eighth. Henderson Alvarez still going. He will walk a batter, and we're going to bring in Zegrist here. Kevin Zegrist will get us out of that inning. It is a 9-0 game. And Zegrist, to close out the game, he will do it. Pirates shut out the Tigers 9-0. So a 2-0 start for the Pirates here on the road in this series. And now going to try and sweep the Tigers here as we manage this game as well. And it's looking pretty good that inning. We do come away with one run. Tigers get a single. They get another single with none out. And they are taken out of that inning without scoring. Fantastic defense. As it goes, we get a double there in the six, but nothing doing. A solo shot right there for Frazier. That gives us a 2-0 lead, bottom seven, now top eight. Tigers starting off well. They get a three-run home run. Oh, we get a three-run home run. It's 5-0 for the Pirates. We get another dinger. That one, Dickerson, it is a 7-0 game. And Andrew Heaney has a chance here to close with a full, with a, a, a complete game. But he does give up a run, so we are going to pull him for Michael Feliz, who will get us out of here with a 7-1 to victory. So there you go. We simulate this next series, this two-game set against Minnesota. Minnesota ends up with both wins. So we sweep, and then we get swept. And now we're going to take a look on a player lock. Uh, at our star pitching prospect in double A, Mitch Keller. We're going to see how Mitch Keller can do in this game with the Altoona curve. So here we go, Mitch Keller, an 0-2 pitch. That one is going to be swung on, grounded over to second base. 
and the man will be retired. So one out early there for Mitch Keller. He gets a strikeout right here. That is K number one. Another one there. Two Ks in the first inning for Mitch Keller. Then he turns around, gets a K right there in the second inning. That's his third of the day. Gets another K right there. That's four. And now a pitch swung on, and that'll be the first base hit given up by Mitch Keller in his debut in this series. Then a play made there to get him out of the inning. Now he will go ahead and strike out a batter right there for one out in the third. There's a play, infield fly. That's going to get made. That gets him out of the inning without giving up anything with a bases loaded, no out situation. Um, once that play gets caught right there. There we go. He gets out of a bases loaded, no out situation. Throws his fifth K right there. That'd be his sixth K right there. And now he will give up a grounder right there, which will be thrown on to first base. And that batter retired gets him to the fifth inning. The 0 1 pitch grounded on the ground. That will be thrown over to first base, and he is out. Now the 0 1 pitch hit at Mitch Keller. He's got a little trouble with it, bobbles it a little bit. He's going to throw it on to first, and he will be out of there. So two outs in the fifth. And there he will get his 7th K and get out of the 5th inning. Into the 6th, he gets his 8th K. Now with one out, this one is flied out to center field. That will be caught. And now on a 3-2 pitch with two out, it will be grounded and thrown on to first base for another out. That gets him into the 7th inning. On a 1-1 pitch, this one flied into short left field. That one will be caught. That is the first out of the inning. Now on a 2-2 pitch, that one is swung on and hit over the fence. You can see that one fly out of here. Mitch Keller gives up his first run of the season on a solo shot. And now with one out, there's a guy bunting. He will get that, and Mitch Keller will be relieved in the seventh inning. So... Pretty good start for him, but couldn't get any run support today as we manage the rest of this game, see what happens. Bottom eighth inning, we really need some help from some of these hitters. It's not really working out. Wayne Donahue now pitching. He gives up a hit by pitch. He walks the bases to be loaded there. Now with two outs to go, Tyler J gives up a run. He walks in a run. He gives up two more. It's now a 6-0 game. Tyler J just killed the team on that one. There is no shot here. But now all of a sudden a three-run bomb for Bostic. And what could have been if Tyler J didn't just totally ruin the game. But the Rubber Ducks do defeat the Altoona Curve in this first game that Mitch Keller pitches here in the series. He does end up with nine strikeouts, however with six hits, one run, which was earned. Now, looking at the triple A, we're going to go ahead and see how their opening day goes with a little bit of a manage here. See what happens. Look at this. Singles coming around. Grand slam by Brandon McKay. Man, are we building this guy. Definitely need him to be our future first baseman if he's going to be popping balls out like that. So now a 6 nothing game. More runs being put on the board. We got a 7 nothing game. And Cody Anderson just giving them up there. There's a double to, to start out and a couple ground outs, so that doesn't help us. Now the pitching from Shugle. Is going pretty well until this point right here. A trip base is clearing triple in the fifth three. inning, but it is seven to three. We still have a lead in this game. Top six. Geyer with a double. We're gonna bring in Guerrero. Fielder's choice double play. That gets us out of that inning. It's still a seven-three ball game and a solo homer for Diaz. That's gonna make it seven to four. Now in our next inning, oh, we're out pretty quickly. Let's see, a single there to start off with Cruz. 
We let him go through. We do win the game. Brandon McKay is the player of the game with his home run, his five RBIs on the day. Of course, he had a grand slam, so that's definitely going to help. We look at how the Pirates have been doing. They lost a game to the Reds. Got an injury here, Tyler Jones. Another injury, Max Moroff. He'll be out one to two months. That's not good. We do win 4 nothing against the Reds. And then on Saturday the 7th, we have a critical situation here. Needs a triple to hit for the cycle. Get ready. Yeah, we're not doing that. The Reds defeated the Ori uh, the Pirates 7-4. to four. So now in danger of losing the series, we got to get a split here. Uh, we got Chris Flexen is injured. Tyler Jones is back now. And we do get the split with the Reds, 4-2. to two. And now we got a big Cubs series coming up here. It's Monday morning, and welcome to Inside Cubs, the show. a big-time competition in the Central for us. You can see Nova. they're 7-3. The three on the mound. We are 5-4 and four now. Rizzo can end it with a walk-off. Time to clamp down. Nah. Cubs defeat the Pirates 2-1. to one. Just messing with a couple injury things here that we've got to screw around with. All right, now Cubs again after a day off. We win that one 3-2. Now this one is for the series. So to take the series against the Cubs, let's see how we do. Started off with a base runner, couldn't get anything going. Now we got another base runner, couldn't get anything going. So nothing doing for either team. It's a 0-0 game. We got a scoreless game into the fifth. There's a single. We got runners in the corners, a walk them loaded, a single, a single. That's two runs in in the fifth inning for the Pirates. Sixth inning, we walk a man on, we get a double play. Seventh inning. Look at that, double two runs scored. We're up 4 nothing. Let's go, Pirates. Go, Buckos. All right, we're going to take Henderson Alvarez out now as he puts Contreras on first. We're going to – who the hell are we going to bring in? We're going to bring in Rosenthal. And he gets a couple strikeouts in that inning to end it, so it is 4 nothing right now. Almost had some more extra runs there in the eighth, but we didn't. Schwarber's on second. A single scored him. It's a 4-1 game in the ninth. Top nine. We're made pretty quick work of. Now we're going to throw in our closer. Here we go. Felipe Rivero. you got to close it out. Ooh, he gave up a two-run shot. It's 4-3. He can still close it. And he does. So the Pirates defeat the Cubs 4-3 in this one. And we do end up taking the series, that little season series right there, two games to three or two games to one. And I think that's where we're going to stop the video here, guys. Comment how you like in the series so far. What do you think we should be looking to do? Give me some of your comments in the comment section below. Please don't forget to drop a like. Also, if you're new and this is the first time you're watching this series, please go ahead and subscribe. we got plenty more Pirates coming your way as well as Villanova for NCAA football. Take care now.